When our eyes are directed upward, it creates a state of heightened alertness. The point here is that you can optimize your workstation in a physical way that leverages this aspect of the visual system and your level of alertness. Try and position your screen or your tablet, whatever device you happen to be working on, at least at eye level and ideally slightly higher. If you think about it, most people are not doing this. Most people are looking down at their computer or tablet or angling their eyes at their screen at about 30 degrees. That is not going to support heightened states of alertness and optimal attention. In fact, there's a bi-directional or reciprocal relationship between the brainstem areas that control alertness and the eyes, meaning how alert you are controls how open or closed your eyes are. No surprise there. But also that how open and upward directed your eyes are will increase your levels of alertness. And if your eyes are pointed downward and your eyelids are hooded, like they're slowly closing, like Costello's are always are, you'll feel more sleepy. Especially if you're somebody who tends to have that mid-morning sleepiness or mid-morning crash. I would do a 90-minute bout of work. Now, why 90 minutes? Well, the brain is going through these 90 minute so-called ultradian cycles throughout the entire day and night. Every 90 minutes, we shift over from being very alert to being less alert and then back to alert again. Here's how it works. At the start of one of these 90 minute ultradian cycles, my brain is not quite engaged in whatever it is I'm trying to do. Now, oftentimes I have things jumping into my mind. I've got distractions, etc. But I set a timer for 90 minutes and I try and get a strong bout of work done inside of that 90 minutes with the full understanding that the entire 90 minutes is not going to be uniform in terms of my ability to focus. There will be kind of peaks and valleys within that, but that 90 minutes is about what the brain can handle in terms of a dedicated effort for high degree of focus. In addition, I use low level white noise. This is something that is supported by quality peer reviewed data. We covered this on the episode on hearing and balance. It turns out that white noise, which is essentially all frequencies of sound that we can perceive, mixed up kind of randomly, there's no structure to it, turned on at a low volume, not with headphones most of the time, puts the brain into a state that's optimal for learning and workflow. And I covered two papers during that episode, one that showed that indeed brain areas involved in attention, brain areas involved in focus and cognition and memory, engaged to a greater degree when there is low levels of white noise playing in the background. So everything about this 90 minute block from the low levels of white noise to the position of my computer, how I'm standing and where my eyes are positioned is geared towards putting me in this tunnel of work. And I have to say that while it can be a challenge to try and achieve this state and this tunnel of work, some days you start to get kind of addicted to it. It feels really good. It's like a workout for the mind. And it uh, is something that as you exit that 90 minutes, you really feel like you've accomplished a lot because often um, you have, and it just feels deeply satisfying. 